let us look at some examples on <clears throat> percentage ratio and proportion. Okay, now these questions I have taken from the University of Cambridge International Examination. Now I have copied and pasted this. You can use an electronic calculator. And if the deg degree of accuracy is not specified in the question, and if the answer is not an exact answer, give your answer in three significant figures. So these are the two important things for us. So let's read the question. Uh, Beatrice has an income of 40,000 in one year. She pays no tax on the first 10,000 of her income. Then she pays 10% tax on the next 10% and 25% on the rest of her income. So the first 10,000 she pays no in, no tax. Okay, so it's tax free. So taxable income, you can say if 10,000 is uh, non-taxable the taxable income is 30,000 okay so out of this 30,000 the 10,000 she pays 10% uh, so 10% of $10,000 okay so you don't don't need a calculator the so 10% is only one tenth so if, if you divide this by 10 she's paying $1,000 as tax for the first 10,000 so the next is she has to pay. So if you take away ten thousand from twenty thousand, sorry thirty thousand, you get twenty thousand. So first let us do that thirty thousand. So thirty k minus ten k k for thousand is twenty k. Okay. So twenty k you are paying twenty five percent tax. So twenty five percent is a quarter. Okay. So basically it's you are finding quarter of twenty thousand. Okay, so what's half of 20,000? That's 10,000. And then again, half quarter is half of half, which is $5,000. Okay, so the first question is, the total amount of tax Beatrice pays would be 10,000 plus, sorry, 1,000, 1,000 plus 5,000, okay? which is six thousand dollars six thousand is sorry six thousand not sixty thousand it is six thousand dollars okay so again ten percent is one tenth is one thousand and twenty five percent of twenty thousand which is half and again half so half of twenty thousand is ten thousand and half of 10,000 is 5,000. The total tax she pays is 16, sorry, 6,000. So the, now the next question is the total amount of tax as a percentage of uh, 40,000. So they're asking you, uh, 6,000 is how much as a percent out of 40,000? So basically what you do is 6,000 out of 40,000. So if you out of means it is 6,000 divided by 40,000. Now this would be out of 1. When you divide, this will be a decimal number. So let me get my calculator out. Though is a though is a graphical calculator, I'll use it only as a electronic calculator. So you go 6,000 divided by 40,000. So this is out of 1, which is 0. Point one five. So this is out of one. Now they're asking you to write as a percent. Percent is out of hundred. So times it by hundred. So which is fifteen percent. Does it make sense? Okay. So let us check it. What is ten percent of? Uh, ten percent of thirty thousand. Oh no. Ten percent of forty thousand is uh, four thousand. Okay, 10%, so let me show you that. The 10% of 40,000 is 4,000, and 5% using logic. If 10% is 4,000, 5% would be 2,000. So this implies 15% is 6,000. So the answer does make sense. Okay, moving on to question B. 
the trees pays a yearly rent of 10,800. After she has paid her tax, rent, bill, she has 12,000 left. Calculate how much she spends on bill. So, so let's, so what's the tax? The tax, we have to add tax plus rent uh is how much tax plus rent is six thousand plus uh your rent is ten thousand eight hundred so this is sixteen thousand eight hundred so what they're saying is sixteen thousand eight hundred which is tax plus rent plus bill plus she is left with this okay plus 12,000 is equal to 40,000 can you understand the equation what we're saying is if this is what is left tax plus rent plus bill plus the balance should give you 40,000 so let me change color uh, we can think in different ways so also so this is 16,800 so 16,800, right, plus 12,000 is 28,800. So 28,800 plus bill should give you the total amount. Okay, so now if you take away 28,000 from 40,000, you'll get the bill. So bill would be 40,000 take away 28,800. 40,000 take away 28,800. That is 11,200 is for bills. 11,200. Okay. Or you can also confirm. Uh, that is check this in a different way so what you're saying is 40,000 from 40,000 you take take away the tax which was 6,000 then you take away the rent which was 10,800 uh, is and what else does she have so 40,000 is her income from that she first takes away 6,000 as uh, tax okay you got tax minus ten thousand eight hundred okay which is twenty three thousand am i doing something wrong yeah uh, plus yeah uh yeah uh ten thousand Okay, so minus 11,200 is the bill, which is 12,000, that's right. So this is total income minus tax minus rent is this. From that, this is the balance. Okay, or this is the bill. So if you take away the bill, this is the balance, and that does tally with our answer. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let me change color. Now what does it say? Beatrice divides the 12,000 that she has in the shopping, between shopping and saving in the ratio of, shopping to saving in the ratio of 5 to 3. So what does this mean? For every $8, so where did I get the 8? So that is 5 plus 3 is 8. So this means, this ratio tells me for every $8, she is, she spends five, she spends $5 on shopping and three dollars on on saving in other words on shopping on shopping she is paying or she is spending five eight of twelve thousand does it make sense and i'm not i don't have the space for saving she is spending three eight calculate how much she spends on shopping in one year so basically, we have got the answer, which is 5 8 of 12,000. That's what we want to find. So first, you can go 5 divided by 8, that is 5 8, 
times 12,000, which is 7,500 is what she spends on shopping. Okay, what fraction? So how much does she spend on saving? So saving is 3 8 or 12,000 minus 7,500. So from 12,000, you take away 7,500, which is 4,500 is what she spends on saving. So this is 4,500 on saving. Uh, what fraction of the original 40,000 does Bitry save? So she is saving 4,500 out of how much? 40,000. So this you want to write as a fraction. So there's a fraction key on a calculator. So it will be 4,500 ABC 40,000. It simplifies for you. It's 9 out of 80. So as a ratio, so as a fraction, the answer is 9 eighths. Okay, the final question. The rent is, rent of 10,800 is 12, 25% increase of the previous rent. So what's the previous rent? So we'll use a little algebra here. So let's take, let's say the previous rent, previous rent was say, uh, let's say, um, okay, let us say X, okay? So the current rent or the present rent, current or present rent is equal to x times 1.25. Okay, I'll explain what it means. Suppose, mm, suppose the rent was say, 100, okay? Now, if rent was 100 and if there is an increase of 25%, you can understand this is how much? This is $125 is the current rent. So from this, if you want to get this, this is same as 100 times 1.25. So I'll show this on a calculator. So 100 times 1.25 is 125. So this is called a factor. Okay. So if it was X, it becomes 1.25X. Okay. So can we write now? So x times 1.25 is gives you the present rent, which is 10,800. So x is your previous rent. So x would be dividing both sides by 1.25 is 10,800 divided by 1.25. So you can use a calculator, 10,800 divided by 1.25 which is 8,640. That's a pretty big rise. 8,000, the answer was 8,640 was the previous rent. So how will we check? You can check this. You times this by 1.25, or let us check this in a different way. What is 25% of 8,640? That's the increase. So 25% is 0.25 times 8,640, which is 2,120. So you go 2,160 plus 8,640 is 10,800. So our answer is right. And you can be proud about it. And you can give yourself as many as smiley faces. See you in the next video.